So there are several, I mean, different types of recurrent neural networks that uh, we, we, we will consider over here. Okay. All right. So we have what is called one to one, which is the traditional neural network that we know. Okay. The traditional neural network that we know. You have your data points over here. Okay. D1. You feed it to your, uh, your network and then you get an output. Okay. You get an output Y hat over here. All right. And then we have another one, right? Which is one too many. All right. The definitions are here. You can just um, also go through, right? So the second one is a sequence output, right? For instance, you have an image captioning, which takes an image, right? And then outputs a sentence of words. Okay. So for instance, you can have an image which contains maybe um, something, maybe human beings, dogs, or maybe party with people. Okay. Now you feed that image to your recurrent neural network. And then it will come up with some sort of description. Okay. Maybe we have seen a person in the image. We have seen um, people laughing. We have seen people dancing. Okay. So just a single image, but we can output several things. So it's one to many. Okay. One single image, but the description in the image, right? There are a lot of things going on in the image and you can get an output. I mean, several outputs. So one image, several outputs. All right. It's also possible that you get, um, several i mean input and then you get one output so if you see the example here sequence input okay for instance sentiment analysis where a given sentence is classified as expressing positive or negative sentiment okay so you can have several sentences right someone might might watch say um a movie right and then the person will write some long review about the movie okay some long review about the movie so it's many sentences but we want to predict what are the sen sentence, the sentiment in the sentence is either positive or negative, right? Is the person saying something positive about the movie or is the person saying something negative about the movie? Okay, so you're going to predict one of these things. So several sentences, but just one output. Okay, you're going to end up predicting either positive or negative. All right, so that is many to one. All right, then we also have many to many. Okay, so if you can read it from here. Sequence input and sequence output. Okay, several input and several output. All right. So, for instance, machine translation. All right. You can have one language and then you translate it to several languages. Okay. So maybe from uh, you have one. Um, I mean, language so, or some words in say English. Okay. Some words in English, and then you can translate that one to maybe Spanish. Okay. Translate that one to maybe Spanish. So from English, it's going to be several um, sentences or some, several words. And then we translate it to Spanish, which is also going to be several words. Okay. So many, too many, right? In that scenario. All right. And then we have another uh, many to many, right? But in this case, as many inputs are given as output over here, right? And they are synced as well. Okay. They are synced as well. Example here is um, synced sequence input and then output. So here you have some something like say a video, right? video classification where we wish to label each frame of the video okay each frame of the video so in the video you have several frames okay so for instance you can have like say five frames in the in the video right and then we want to classify each of those five frames so we're going to end up having five output as well okay we're going to end up having five outputs as well so um it's a synced uh, kind of an um, input and output over there right so uh, these are the various types of um, RNNs that we have. All right.